Hi everyone, Andrew here. Today I would like to teach you how to find the slant asymptote of this rational function of 6x cubed minus 5x divided by 3x squared plus 4. Now it turns out whenever you have a rational function, which is just saying you got some polynomial function being divided by some polynomial function, whenever the power of x, the highest power of x in the numerator, which is 3, is greater than the highest power of x that you have in your denominator, which is 2, it'll turn out that you'll always have a slant asymptote. All right. Now, it has to be one, though, power greater, all right, because the function at the end has to be linear, and you'll see how this is going to work out. But in order to find the slant asymptote, what we do is we actually have to do this division, all right? I want to find out what the quotient is, and not necessarily its remainder, but I want to find what the meat of the quotient is, so to speak, all right? So we're going to set this up as a long division. Now, you can't really do this with synthetic division, uh, at least how it's commonly taught, because you have a squared power down here. It's not, it's not a linear function. Um, so long division is the best way to go uh, with something like this. So let's take a look. Bam. So all you're going to do is you're going to take that numerator, write it on the inside here of that long division symbol. Your denominator then goes on the outside. Now you're just going to follow a simple series of steps. What we're going to do is we're going to locate the highest power of x with its coefficient uh, inside of that long division symbol. Write it down. And you're going to divide it then by the highest power of x with its coefficient of your term on the outside, which is the 3x squared. And you're going to divide it just like this. So 3 goes into 6 two times. And x squared goes into x cubed, basically x times, right? You know, the other way to think about this is when you have x cubed divided by x squared, that's the same thing as saying x to the 3 minus 2, right? Which is just x to the first. Okay? All right. So, uh, yeah. So what we have now is we have this term, 2x. Now that term will go on the uh, top there. This is part of the quotient. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to set up your little subtraction thing in majiggy, and you're going to take that 2x, and you're going to multiply it now to each of the two terms there on the outside of your long division symbol. So 2x multiplied by 3x squared should be a 6x cubed. Now, if you did this right, these two better match. Okay, if they don't, something got messed up. Then you're going to take the 2x, multiply it by a positive 4, and that should be a positive 8x. Now, there's no guarantee that anything will match up from here on out, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take the negative sign then before you do anything and distribute it to each of those two terms so the 6x cubed and the 8x both become negative. And you're just going to perform the math as indicated. So these two terms just totally annihilate one another. And then these terms will get added together, right? So you're going to have now a negative uh, eight, uh, 13, 18, what? Okay, I'm just learning addition. You're going to have negative 13x. Now, you're finished at this point. Whenever the power of x here, which is to the first, is less than the power of x out here, which is to the second, you're finished. All right. Now, this is basically going to be part of your remainder. So it would be minus then 13x divided by the whole, you know, denominator there of 3x. And we have tens and tens of videos dedicated to just long division in general. All right. So this is it. Now, this is the remainder. I don't really care about that part. What I care about is the meat, so to speak, the non-remainder part, the 2x. And guess what this is? That's it. That's the slant asymptote. That's it. Problem over. Now, if you want to see it, though, I would graph the original function at the top. So hit open parentheses, do 6x cubed, 6x cubed, and then minus 5x from that. Close the parentheses, then divide it. Open the parentheses again. So you're going to have 3x squared plus 4. All right, close it. Make sure you got parentheses, otherwise it's not going to come out right. Now this thing looks a little funky. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, my window. Yeah. So uh, let me, I think, let me adjust the zoom a little bit more. Okay. Let me adjust the zoom a little bit more. So I'm going to bring, uh, I'm going to extend this on down a little more, maybe negative 50. We'll go positive 50. And let's just see how that, oh no, I think I just went backwards, right? That really wasn't a great move, Andrew. Yeah. Let's leave it there. <laughs> Now what you're going to do, okay, now what you're going to do, hopefully this will work. Now what you're going to do, I mean, I know it's going to work, but hopefully it, it visually we see it. Now graph your slant asymptote, all right, the 2x. So go 2x and now hit graph. And you kind of see how, it's not the best picture, but you kind of see how this function here in blue, which was the original, is approaching that red line. And you kind of see how the blue is going to be approaching that red line there. So I hope that kind of, it's not the best visual, but you kind of see how that slant asymptote is being approached. The slant asymptote is in red and the original function there is in blue. So anyway, not the best picture, but 
Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Actually, I'm going to go to zoom, uh, zoom standard. Let's just see if that works. And well, my calculator froze. Uh, so that's all I got for you, I guess. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you want more help with problems, we got your back. We got thousands of solved problems out there, uh, not only in chemistry, but mathematics and physics as well. We really want to help you through your classwork. We have tons of resources out there for you, and we're going to leave little goodies down there in the descriptions below over time. So please check that out. I think you'll be very happy. Take care.